Anya, <coughs> hey Anya and team. Um, okay, so here's Anya. Here's what you're gonna add into your um, strength training workout. Okay, on your heavy upper push and your heavy upper pull. Um, so this would be like the first. This would be like where we traditionally do like the five reps or lower. Um, so your heavy upper push, 90 seconds as heavy as you can go in the jerk. You are trying to um, obviously push that weight, right? Heavy pull, two minutes as heavy as you can go in the clean, right? And then what you would do is you would go and do your lower body exercise for that. You would come back, you would repeat that whole thing twice. So we'll do this. Perform lower body movement. Perform two sets. Um, and then you would go on. So you won't do three sets. You're gonna do the heavy upper push, um, the heavy upper pull, and then you perform your lower body movement and you do that twice. Um, for your uh, heavy upper push and your heavy pull, it needs to be heavy. Um, and you can do this depending on the time frame. You can either do 90 seconds on your right hand, 90 seconds on your left hand for your jerk, or you can switch at the 45 second mark. It really just depends on how long this takes you to get through, right? Same thing with your um, clean where you can go um, you know, a minute heavy on the right, a minute heavy on the left versus two minutes. Uh, if you go a minute heavy on the right and heavy on the left, you need to make sure that you go heavy. Um, all right, so then when you get down um, to your mod upper push and mod upper pull, this would be your B movements. You're gonna do two minutes with two kilograms lighter than what you did um, for your jerk up here, except you're gonna do that in a long cycle. Um, and you're going to do two minutes on each arm. For your pull, you're going to do the same weight as your heavy. Um, oh, same. Okay, two minutes, same weight as heavy upper snatch. So what that means is that you're going to go um, basically just pick a, pick a heavy weight. Um, so we'll go same weight. So heavy, heavy upper snatch. So that's basically just um, two minutes on your right side, two minutes on your left side, and then you're gonna go a heavy, heavy um, upper upper body, um, a heavy, heavy snatch. Then you're going to do whatever the lower body movement is, okay? Um, and you're gonna get 25 reps of that, or whatever the, the goal is, you're gonna get those reps in one set. So I only want one set of this stuff. One time. All right, the last part of the workout. You're gonna do a five minute heavy rack hold left, and a five minute heavy rack hold right. And it's gonna be five kilogram, um, excuse me. Actually, we're gonna go uh, four to six kilograms more than the heaviest weight that you lifted in the entire workout, okay? So that's gonna take 10 minutes in and of itself, right? Um, whatever the time is that you have left to perform, perform whatever else is on the board with time you have left. Uh, once a week, you're going to perform a five minute snatch set with a 20 kilogram. That is at the end of your workout. So that is in this part. Once a week, you are also going to perform a five minute long cycle set with a 20 kilogram. And you're going to do these two on alternating days. So maybe this is Monday and maybe this is Wednesday. Okay. Um, anytime that there is hamstring and glute work, specifically the glute work, I'm gonna bold that and underline it. Specifically the glute work, uh, make sure that you perform those exercises. Uh, you are also going to do five sets of a 10 second hold on TKEs on both sides. On the SJ, on, uh, on the SG days, the coaches can show you what a TKE is. Anytime that there's core work, you're gonna make sure that you perform that core work. Um, this is really complicated and difficult to work in kettlebell movements into a strength training workout. Um, but I do think that this will probably be um, one of the easier and better ways for you to do it. As um, I think mostly the issue is that we need to get a heavier bell in your hand and we need to get you comfortable moving that heavier bell for a short period of time so that you can move that heavier bell for a long period of time and you feel more comfortable. Um, all right, I'm gonna print this out for you. Um, you're actually out there right now, so I'm gonna give this to you, but um, hopefully you won't Hopefully you won't try and do this when I get this to you. Okay, that's it.